right there. Hello everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you probably read by the title, today I have a crazy one for you. Um, a few days ago, my town got hit by some really bad storms, including a tornado. Now, if you guys follow the channel, you know I've done a lot of videos where I've titled them Tornado Caught on Camera During Vlog. This one, though, is the real deal. In those videos, I normally I just film as a huge storm hits our town, and normally it'll just be lightning, rain, high winds, maybe a funnel cloud, but this one, as I said, was the real deal. A tornado touched down, went through our town, and during this time, we actually decided to storm chase, and we actually saw the tornado. Now, I'd like to mention two things before this video starts. One, this was an EF1 tornado, and it mainly went through mostly rural areas in my town. So luckily, there was no major damages. There was a decent amount, but no major damages, and there was no major injuries or anything worse due to this tornado. As I said, it was just an EF1 and mainly went through rural areas. I'd also like to mention that all money made on this video is going to go to some relief efforts uh, for damages. As I said, there wasn't any major damages, but there still was a decent amount, and I'm going to find somewhere where I can give the money made off this video to um, somewhere to help out. So we're going to go ahead and go to when I started filming, which is literally when I woke up, because I literally woke up the storm sirens going off. So we'll go ahead and go to that. What on earth? Okay, by the way, as I said, I just woke up. Last night, we had like torrential downpours. I literally, right when I woke up, my phone was blowing up how like there's flooding and stuff all over the town. But sirens are going off. Let me go check the radar. What's going on, Daisy? We gotta figure this out. We gotta turn into weather people. This has gotta be just like a test. I mean, it's not dark out. What? I knew the flood, flash flood warning. I knew that. So if you're thunderstorm warning, tornado watch, what? Oh. What? Okay. You know it's bad when it literally looks completely normal outside and there's sirens going off. The storms are around 20 minutes away and the county that it's hitting right now that is uh, a few counties before has tornado warnings out. Look, this is what the storms are coming from right in front of me. It literally looks completely normal out. Indiana, West Central vehicles Yo, do I go tornado chasing actually? <laughs> See, those are the counties next to us right there. But literally just came over my phone the alert. Tornado warning in our county. As you guys see, it is coming right towards us. We are right around there. Right now, Caden is about two minutes out and we are hitting the road. The storms are getting very close. Tornado warnings are going crazy. I am shocked that sirens are not going off right now. It's aiming towards the north, which is where we are. Spotter uh, trained in that. Byron, if you'll go over with Carol. They're here. They're... Get inside, get inside, get inside. Uh, if you were... <laughs> and so we are gonna continue to search for that right now. You see the- Confirmed the, tornado. The, uh, warning has gone purple on us, meaning- It is sunny over there. Draft. Is that bad? System, the outflow, no. the rain. You can just hear the wind here at the station. So you don't see these purple polygons very often. That means a tornado has been observed. Get to what? Yo, what? The Anna Road in that general Yo, area. Yo, that's heading straight towards us. Northern okay, we're County, getting back. We have Armstrong here. Saint okay, we've got to go back to the yeah. west. So it's between St. Wendell and Darmstadt moving. To that is, hour, it's right over there. Okay, there's a future Matthew here. Uh, I kind of want to show you like a demonstration or I don't know what to call it of what's going on. So basically, this is the house where we started at my family's house where I'm actually at right now literally editing this video. And this is where the confirmed tornado is and pretend this square is a map of my town. So basically, right now, as you saw in the last clips, we left our house and we went 
this way, and we are around right here now. Okay, actually for better representation, we're actually about right here. I over-exaggerated a little bit. See how right there! Right there! See how there's dark clouds behind us? Well, right there! Well, the super has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern County. Trash can! Trash can is moving! Watch next to it. Yo, there's debris! There's debris over there! We gotta go back. We gotta get back now. Don't drive too fast, dude. I know, I know. We gotta watch out for winds. We are heading to our grandma's. Guys, our grandma's is the safest place. We got a basement there. A tornado is bearing down on our neighborhood. Winds are going crazy. I'm not kind of the clear. There's a tornado on the ground. When we heard the tornado was right there, directly west of our location, and if it kept going straight, the tornado would obviously go right towards where we were, we decided to go from where we had driven so far back to the house so we could take cover. Debris. Slow down. Right over that way is where it is. Oh, Man, I want to drive that, but no, oh, it's too, it's not safe. Wait, wait. It's on I-64. So it may be a little north of here. It's probably, it, so it may miss us. We took cover for around 10 minutes, but luckily the tornado was not moving straight. It was actually moving that way. Emergency. What the heck does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> There's bird flying around and everything. They're like, where at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where do we see? No, I think it. I think the tornado went just north of here. I wish they turn on this because they are like, oh my gosh, tornado, no doubt on the ground, big Cynthiana Road, and that's literally heading straight. To, I know it was heading northeast, but still, like that was too close for it, us it not it to. Like, I right hear sirens. Right down there. Is where we can Where's sirens at? Is it tornado may have already went through right down there. Go. Go! It's wind, you doofus! I just spit all over the window! <laughs> Around 10 minutes, we uh, got back outside and looked at the radar, saw that the tornado had moved this way, and uh, begun to start driving again. This time we got on the main highway and started heading uh, that way. Is that it? Do you see it? They're, they're motioning us to come forward. Okay. Oh my god, we can get around this. Look at this guy. How did it fall that way? Yo, look at this. Yeah, how did it? No, because on a hill. How did it fall that way, actually? You're right. Yo. Matthew thinks it's right there, but it's rain wrapped. Do you see what it, where I got? It's got to be around there, and it's just rain wrapped or something. Guys, we Oh think my god, why? Right there. Okay, I have a lot of explaining to do. You just saw that clip where we saw the tornado. The clip was around four seconds that you guys just saw, and we literally saw the tornado in a distance. Now, that clip was originally around two minutes long. We were driving, and when we got past some buildings, we first saw the tornado in the distance, and the, that four seconds you just saw was um, around a middle part of the clip, and we literally, at the end of the clip, saw the tornado dissipate. And as I said, it was a two minute clip and you just saw four seconds of it. So just now during editing, I was trimming the clip down because the four seconds you just saw is going to be the intro clip. And when I was trimming it down, I accidentally hit trim original instead of save as new clip. So it literally, I deleted basically the other minute 56 of the clip other than that four seconds. But as you could tell, uh, you saw four seconds of us literally filming the tornado. The shy of St. James and in about five minutes, so please. Uh, in After that, we drove back home and we didn't film any more clips because when we got home, the power was out and we didn't get any more storms after that. As I said, the tornado had dissipated and stuff. We didn't get any more storms. They actually just confirmed that this was an EF1 tornado that touched down. I have the map right there of where the tornado went and right there is where we saw it. We were around right there when we saw it and it dissipated right around there. 
there. And as I said, it was an EF1 tornado. They said the winds were probably around 90 to 100 miles per hour. Now, lots of the tornado went through rural areas, and thankfully it did. It could have been way worse if it didn't. And since it was a weaker tornado, there was no major injuries, no deaths or anything. And the damage, why there was um, pretty serious damage, not like awful damage. Roofs were torn off of some buildings. I know there was a big church. I'll put in the photo that the roof was completely torn off of, but no like horrible damages like houses leveled or anything. It could have been way worse. As I said, the tornado was only an EF1. Could have been way worse and it went through a lot of rural areas, only a little bit of suburb areas and it could have went through like the main part of the town which is right around like this area and stuff. But um, that's going to be all for today's video. It is crazy that we literally saw a tornado in person, literally filmed it. We did film it for two minutes and I accidentally deleted deleted uh, almost the whole entire clip other than the four seconds that you guys obviously saw, but uh, I've done many of these storm-related videos. I've done many videos where I've titled it Tornado Caught on Camera During Vlog, and in those videos I've done, uh, most of the time it's just a big storm that hits our town and there isn't really a tornado, maybe a funnel cloud or stuff, and I just title it the Tornado Caught on Camera During Vlog. This one was the real deal. Tornado literally moving through our town and stuff, and as I said, thankfully there was no major damages, no serious injuries, no deaths, and it was an EF1 tornado. Now, all the money I make on this video is going to go to some relief efforts to uh, places that were damaged in my town due to this tornado. As I said, though, luckily there wasn't too much damage because it mainly went through rural areas. It just went through uh, a few suburb areas, as you saw by that church where the roof had been torn off. But that's going to be all for today's video. 